Experience Minecraft like never before with fresh animations. Say goodbye to boring static faces and watch as mobs come to life with fantastic new movements, facial expressions and new sounds. You can actually even hear the villagers snore as they sleep. All of this makes your Minecraft world feel a lot more immersive and just a joy to play in. So in this video I'm going to be showing you the best way to install the Fresh Animations resource pack and maybe even actually improve your FPS. So let's get started. So you're going to want to close your game and your launcher. Next up go to the Optifine website. All of the links for the necessary installations will be in the description below. So once you're in the Optifine website go to downloads, click on the show all versions and select the version that you want to install the fresh animations for. We're going to be using 1.20.1. So once you have Optifine on your desktop, you can then drag it like so all the way into your recycle bin. Don't use Optifine. What we're going to be using instead is Fabric. So go to the Fabric website, click on download, click on download universal jar, save it to your desktop and then double click it and you're going to be greeted with this. Remember Remember to select your correct version, in our case it's 1.20.1 and then click on install. After that you can just delete the fabric installer, you're not going to be needing it any longer. And now we're going to be installing all of the mods that we're going to be needing in order to have the best performance with the fresh animations resource pack. So we have fabric API, sodium, sodium extra, greasy sodium options, indium, lithium, ferret core, entity model features, entity texture features, and entity culling and finally the fresh animations resource pack itself. So you're going to want to head to files and then find the correct version to your game and make sure that you have the fabric mod loader selected. And my suggestion is to download the file that has the most downloads. In this case it's this one, it has 2.4 million downloads. And we're going to do the same for all of these mods. And once you have all of these mods on your desktop like so, you're going to want to open your windows search and type type in percentage app data percentage. Then you're going to want to look for your .minecraft folder, then locate your mods folder. And you just drag all of the mods and drop them into your mods folder. Go back and find your resource packs folder. And you're gonna take fresh animations and drag it into here. Open your Minecraft launcher and hit play. And you were probably hit with this screen. This is basically Fabric telling you what your issues are and how to resolve them. In our case, we need to replace the mode sodium 1.5.8 with version 1.5.3. So what we're going to want to do is go back to the sodium files webpage and find the correct version. And after you've done that, head back to your mods folder, delete the mod that was incompatible and replace it with the correct version like so. And once you have resolved all of the incompatibility issues, your game should launch with zero issues. You then go into options, resource packs and select the fresh animations resource pack like so and something very important go into options video settings performance and here use entity culling you should disable that click apply done and you are ready to hop into your world and enjoy the beautiful animations look at this little fella well hello there and just a quick explanation as to why we disabled Entity Culling. We basically already installed a separate mod that does the exact same thing as the Entity Culling that Sodium provides. You basically want to use only one of these because if you have them both equipped, you can basically run into bugs because of them clashing with each other and entities such as your chests, paintings, item frames and even your mobs can disappear and you will basically have to restart your game every 5 minutes in order to fix it. So my suggestion is to just go into settings and turn the entity culling off like so. That is of course only if you're using the entity culling provided in the description. And if you want to make your game look even better I highly suggest you check out my other video where I've made a very detailed tutorial on how to improve the looks of your game in almost every way possible while keeping your FPS high. That does it for this tutorial. If you have any issues whatsoever or any questions about these mods feel free to ask me down in the comments below. I'll make sure to respond to everyone. So thank you so much for watching and goodbye.